thing is pretty self-explanatory what you guys know is happening today but anyway if you get a kit from the good eggs at GK Tech uh, they have an install video on their channel which is extremely informative and uh, will give you a solid rundown on how to fit these plates that I have here so these are all the plates that are going to be going into the rear subframe of the S15 build. So, what I'm going to do is obviously rip the rear subframe out and strip it um, and have the fun job of welding these in. So, yeah, I suppose Key is going to be cleaning everything up. And then once it's installed, give it a lick of paint. It doesn't rust. So these are... Yeah, it's a pretty cool kit and cheap too. And obviously, full instructions on how to do it all, um, where to put them. Yeah, it tells you everything. Whole kit and caboodle. And that's the end result. Alright, cool. Let's get stuck into it. You can see here the subframe's out. Um, I have to strip pretty much everything off it. I gotta get all the bushes out and stuff too. Because uh, you obviously have to weld plates in here. Uh, there's a few things I'm gonna cut off as well. I think you're allowed to cut like this off. But anyway, we'll go over it. I'll get all this cleaned off. Uh, get everything stripped. And then hopefully there's room in the fab room next door without interfering with Rob. Uh, and I can yeah, get busy and try and smash this out today. See how we go. Prepping skills. Not yet. Mm. Did you wipe it all down with acetone? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where's the acetone? <laughs> <laughs> I did on them actually, because I had paint all over them. But then you touched them more afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty good at that. Yeah, sweet. Um, so yeah, Robo's gonna take on the job of stitching these bad boys on for me. The only reason I'm doing it for you. Mm -hmm. The only reason, honestly. <laughs> but what do you think? Yeah, so it's done properly. Well, no, just because it's easier to do it the first time than repair it after. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, I better go get that acetone. <laughs> you just gonna stitch her up? Yeah, mate. We're gonna weld up all the um, GK Tech braces. Yep. Um, little bit time consuming to do, but it st strengthens it up nicely. Yeah, right. it's worth doing. Sweet, awesome. So I'll let Rob just spot it on, and then. Um, I'll stand here and 
know the crap out of him. <laughs> All the bushes are out. Rob's done all the welding. She's, um, yeah, she's ready to get cleaned up. Give her a lack of paint. And um, she's ready to go. It's that easy. Thanks, Robo. Oh, and Laz is here too. Hey. He's scared of the camera again. But no, big thanks to Robo. I uh, tried to battle these with, um, Drilling them out, and um, yeah, just that nah, wasn't working. Rob came out, got the oxy, and said, "Just burn them out. Stop being a dick." So I stopped being a dick, and we did it. Well, he did it. There you go. All right, time to clean it up. Oh shh, damn! So she's all painted up. Oh yeah, I got myself a slick new hairdo. I uh, went to the barber this morning. And uh, they always put tons of freaking crap in it and then make you look like a, I don't know, freaking weirdo. But anyway, uh, so one thing I didn't do, oh, Larry laughed at me. Didn't put the new uh, GK Tech solid bushes in before I painted it. Uh, but I have a little trick there. Oh, this got pissed on. What the hell? I have a little trick there. So. I bunged them in the freezer. Hopefully they're shrunk enough to just... So I'll go get them out the freezer right now. We'll be back. So here we go. Fresh out the freezer. Will it work? Still gonna need a lot of massaging. Okay, so... What we'll do... Pop it over like that. Get ourselves a big bomby knocker. Right on. Twelve seconds later. Right on. A bit of light persuasion. They're all in. So uh, they're actually um, when they were fully frozen, they were. They didn't want to go in. So once they um, melted a little bit, they uh, yeah, they kind of they went in. Like had to hit them a little bit, but wasn't too bad. Cool. So I'm going to be running a um, 370 or 350 diff in this car. So I've got the GK Tech offset bushes for the diff. Uh, the diff hasn't arrived yet. So um, yeah, it's a real basic kit. You got offset bushes for the front here and the back. Uh, you can run one post or two. We're going to run two. And I think it's like a 4 3 ratio. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Not going the winter's route uh, just because they're so bloody expensive at the moment. They're crazy. I was even thinking about selling the one out of the Beamer just because the price is through the roof. But, yeah, because I've never changed the freaking ratios in the Beamer. Not once. Because <laughs> it revs so much, I just, yeah, pick a different gear. Actually, that's a lie. I changed them once just to see what the difference would be at Malalar. Um, and, you know, yeah, it did make a little bit of a difference, but not enough to warrant having a $10,000 diff in it. But anyway, uh, so that's pretty much the rear subframe done. Uh, massive thanks to GK Tech, obviously, for supporting this build and all the parts to get this cracking. So um, that's one piece of the mega puzzle. So now that we have a few other bits and bobs here, we're gonna continue 
Um, so I'll probably continue the next video uh, to fitting all the arms up in the rear. Just to give you guys a rundown on all the GK Tech stuff. So we'll be back for that one. So uh, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.